Hey, Pee Wee here. Uh, today we're going to be finishing up a project that I started yesterday, and it is a DIY project uh, on my Nissan Titan. Give you a little update. Hannah just got her license this past week. She went for the driver's test and she passed, and so our third child is now driving, and so that kind of dates me, but it's also exciting. But then that also leads to her needing a vehicle, so she's going to be driving the Chevrolet Malibu, and so I picked up a used truck a couple of weeks ago, uh, a 2012 Nissan Titan. I had had one years ago, and uh, when we moved to Ohio, I sold it. And so I've been looking for a truck probably ever since. And so moving back to Liberty, I knew that somewhere in the near future, I would have a pickup truck. And so Hannah starts driving the Malibu. I'm going to be driving the pickup truck. And so today I've got a little project for this truck. And the question is, is can Pee Wee DIY? Can he do a do-it-yourself project? Is that who he is? Can he do any of that? Some of you probably know the answer to that question. Some of you think you know. And some of you have no clue, and you're wondering, can Pee Wee pull off a DIY project? What we're going to do is we're going to make a bed divider in this truck. Uh, when you put trash in the back or you haul a cooler or anything you put in the back, it'll slide to the front every time you hit the brakes or you go up a hill. My old Titan used to have a bed extender that had a little cargo divider in it, and that was a great help. This truck did not have that. This truck was a great one-owner truck, but it did not have that feature. So I'm going to make, out of a 2 by 8 by 8 I've cut that down, and I'm making a DIY cargo divider for my 2012 Nissan Titan. So hang tight and you'll see a time-lapse video of me putting this together hopefully it goes good i think it'll look good mainly it needs to be functional and so uh kind of like our christian walk sometimes we don't look so good but we just need to be functional amen so we'll share a word in a minute but uh take a look and let's see if we can diy Well, hey, this is Pee Wee here. Tell you what, the project went really good. It was about a $40 project. I spent a little too much on the bed liner spray cans. I got three cans. I should have used a base black coat first, but spent about 40 bucks on a little project that, that uh, I did a DIY project there. Could have bought uh, an organizer or a bed extender or cargo uh, divider for $100 online, but I thought, you know, I, I could spend 40 bucks and uh, and do it myself and maybe have something that's functional. But, you know, everything needs its place. In my truck, I've got things in a certain place. You know, in our homes, you and I, we oftentimes have things that we like to have in a certain place. Well, here in the bed of my truck, when you're taking off trash or gas can, whatever you're hauling, a cooler, whatever it is, it can have its place and not slide around, and it'll protect it. You know, we kind of get that type of organizational mindset from the Lord, I believe. He's very organized. He is our creator. Uh, there's a method to what he's doing. There's a, a grand design to all of creation. We're not here by accident. 
God has created us. And I think that we get this, this thought of trying to be organized a little bit from him. And so when I think about him being organized and wanting things probably in a certain place, the way he does things, if you read the Bible, I think about how he really wants to have a certain place in your life and mine, and that's right here in our heart. Uh, he doesn't want to play second fiddle to anything or anyone else. He wants his proper place, and it's right there in your heart and in mine. And so uh, maybe we get caught up living our life however we want, but we really need to say, Lord, won't you take up your place in my life? Really, he wants to be on the throne of your heart. And so either me and you are on the throne of our heart, or he is. And friends, I tell you this, he, uh, he's went to a lot of trouble to make sure that he could be on the throne of your heart, and he loves you. Uh, listen, that's Living in Liberty with Pee Wee today, a little DIY project. Some of you that were wondering if I could do that or not, or any kind of DIY project, I love you anyhow. In the comment section, let me know about a DIY project maybe that you've done recently. Maybe take a picture, upload it in the comments. I know that there's times that this helps us feel like we're producing something. I don't know. Sometimes for me, it scratches an itch. So maybe in the comments, let me know if there's some DIY project you've been doing. Thanks for tuning in. Hit the like button and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time on Living in Liberty with Pee Wee. Thanks for riding shotgun with me each and every week. Share it with your friends. Take care, guys.